chapter 3.3, exercise 1 through 24. This section is on logarithmic functions and their graphs. The, uh, in exercise 1 through 18, evaluate the logarithmic expression without using a calculator. And we have log base 4, logarithm base 4 of 4. And what I like to do is change these to an exponential equation where we have a common base. And when we have a common base, we can just, it's just obvious what the evaluation is. And so we're going to set this logarithm base 4 of 4 equal to x. And so what we're going to do is a logarithm is really the answer to the question, in this case, what power do we have to raise 4 to to equal 4? And so I put that as an x. So x is going to be the number that represents what power we have to raise the base 4 to in order to get 4. And so I'm going to rewrite this as a an exponential equation. So the base of the logarithm becomes the base of the exponent. So what power do we have to raise 4 to to equal 4. Well, we have to raise 4 to the first power. 4 without a uh, explicitly marked exponent is 4 to the first power. So in this case, x is equal to 1. So our answer to this problem is 1. Next on our problem, 3. We have the logarithm base 2 of 32 equals what? So again, it's going to be what power do we have to raise 2 to to get 32? I'll put an x over here. And to rewrite this equation as, a, as an exponential equation, we have 2 to the power of x equals 32. And if we can only rewrite 32 as a power of 2, which I believe we can do. Let's do that. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 to the third power is, is 4 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the fourth power is 8 times 2, which is 16. And 2 to the fifth power is 32. So we can rewrite 32 as 2 to the fifth power. Therefore, x is equal to Five. So the logarithm base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. Next, problem number 5. We have the logarithm base 5 of the cube root of 25. So let's uh, set this up as a logarithmic equation by writing x. So the base of the logarithm, because the bit, it becomes the base of the exponent, so that's going to be 5 to the power of x equals cube root of 25. Right now, a couple things we have to know is the cube root of x is equal to x to the one-third power. So that's how we go from a radical root, radical a version of an exponent to a rational form. And we can also rewrite 25 as x squared, as 5 squared, 5 squared. So we have 5 to the x equals, we rewrite 25 as 5 to the 5 squared. Change that here. There we go. So we have 5 squared, and the third root of, or the cubic root, is to the one-third power. And now if we just multiply on the right side, using our rules of exponents, 2, power of power, 2 times one-third is 5 to the two-thirds power. So therefore, 
x equals 2 thirds, meaning that that will be our answer, 2 thirds, which we box in as correct. Next on our problem, 7, we have the logarithm of log of 10 to the third power. Well, when we just see LOG without a subscript, what that means is we have this called the common logarithm, which is log base 10. So this can be log base 10 of 10 to the third power. So we're being asked, what number do we have to raise 10 to to get 10 to the third power? That should be pretty obvious. So I'm going to set this equation up equal to x. And down, down below, we have 10 to the power of what? Of x equals 10 to the third power. Well, x is equal to 3. And so that is our answer. Equals 3. Next on the problem, we have the logarithm, common logarithm of 100,000. So that's going to be, again, common logarithm is log base 10 of 100,000. And we're going to set that equal to x. And to rewrite this as an exponential equation, we can just take that base of the logarithm, so 10 to the power of x is equal to 100,000. And on the right side, we can rewrite 100,000 as 10 to the power of 5. So therefore, x is equal to 5. Another thing we could have done is we could have taken this 100,000 right here in, in the originally here in the equation and rewritten this as 10 to the fifth power and then made the change and we would have been right in the right place from the get-go. Okay, problem 11. We have the logarithm and LOG without a subscript again is a common logarithm which means base 10. So I'm going to rewrite this LOG as, as log base 10 of the cube root of 10. And we'll set that equal to x because that's what we're trying to find out. So we rewrite this common base 10 logarithm as the base as 10 to the power of what is equal to the cube root of 10. Well, again, the cube root of a number, x in this case, is going to be x to the one-third power. So we can rewrite this equation on the right side. The right side has 10 to the one-third power. In that case, uh, comparing each side of the equation, x is equal to one-third. one-third, so there it is. Next on number problem, which is 13, we have ln e to the third power. Well, ln is the log base e, and e is uh, Euler's number A number named in the honor of Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler and has unique properties that are very helpful in the world of finance and in calculus. So we're going to rewrite this, this uh, ln e to the third power as log base e of e to the third power. And we're going to set this equal to x 
So it's going to be simply e to what power equals e to the third power. So e to the power of x is equal to e to the third power. So x in this place is equal to 3. So that is our answer to problem number 13. Next, on the problem 15, we have the uh, natural logarithm of 1 uh, over e. And when I said Euler's number last time, I forgot to mention something about Euler's number, which is e is approximately equivalent to uh, 2.718. And that's an irrational number that goes out to an infinite number of decimal places. But this this number, 2.718, should be a part of a person's mathematical knowledge to uh, understand what's going on. So anyway, back to problem 15. Uh, the natural logarithm of 1 over e is going to be log base e of 1 over e. And we can set this expression equal to x. So e to what power equals 1 over e. Now using the rule of negative exponents, we can rewrite the right side of this equation. 1 over e to the 1 power is going to be e to the negative 1 power. And so therefore, uh, x is e to the x power. So we have x is equal to negative 1. box in as a correct answer. Problem number 17. We have the natural logarithm of the fourth root of e, which I'm going to rewrite as log base e of the fourth root of e. Now, a number, the fourth root of a number, we'll say x, is equal to x to the one-fourth power. So therefore, well, let me go ahead and set this log base e of the fourth root of e. We'll set this equal to x. So e to the power of x equals the fourth root of E, which equals e to the x is equal e to the one fourth power. And so therefore, x is equal to one fourth. So equals one fourth, which we box in as our correct answer. separation. Okay, that's a little better. Next on our problem, and this is a new set, exercise 19 to 24, evaluate the expression without using the calculator. And this time, instead of having a logarithm, we have an exponential situation. And so, we're going to take this expression, 7 to the power of log base 7 of 3, and set this expression equal to x. So for this, we're going to go to the reverse of what we did in exercise 1 through 18. So, but we have the same base. So we're going to rewrite this expression, equation, as log base 7 of x is equal to, we take this log base 7 of 3 to the right side, is equal to log base 7 of 3. Now as we look from the left side to the right side of the equation and compare, we see that in the same place in each side of the equation that there's an x on the left and a 3 on the right. So x is equal to 3. So our answer to problem 19 is 3. 
The next odd number problem, which is 21, we have 10 to the power of log of, of a log of 0.5. So for that, we're going to, I'm going to make a rewrite here of 10 to the power of log base 10 of 0 0.5 and set this expression equal to x. So in this case, rewriting this as a logarithm, we're going to have log base 10 of x is equal to log base 10 of 0 0.5. So in the same place, on each side of the equation, we have the x on one side and the 0 0.5 on the other side. So we know that x is equal to 0 0.5. So therefore, we have our answer. So 0 0.5, or 1 half, in fraction form. Next odd number problem, 23, we have E and, and E of the natural logarithm of 6, to the, to the power of the natural logarithm of 6. So we're going to rewrite this as we're going to make a rewrite as E to the power of natural logarithm is log base E. 6. And setting this expression equal to x, we can change this back into a logarithmic equation by taking log base e of this x is equal to this power here, which is log base e of 6. And that's going to be ln, ln. But in the same place, in each equation, we have log base e of x equals log base e of 6. So x is going to be equal to 6. Now, one way of looking at it, kind of a shorthand method, is if you look at this e and this ln, which is natural logarithm of e, the, the e to the power of ln cancel each other out. If we go back to the other problems, we can see 10 and log base 10 canceling out in problem 22 and problem 23. 10 and log base 10 cancel each other. We're left with 0.5. So anyway, these are our number problems in this set. Good luck on the even number problems as a demonstration of learning. And thank you for viewing.